everyone, this is Shishi coming on to share with you some uh, dies from AliExpress I received in the mail uh, to share with you on the channel. Um, so first I want to share with you uh, the projects I made. I made this treat box uh, with there's a bowl and um, there's tags. Uh, so I'll share with you the dies. Um, this is the tag set. It has a large and a small tag. Now there is a little heart die that comes with it that you can line up with this heart and punch through the second die. So let me open it up so I can explain more. Um, I believe she kind of gave an idea of her, her um, process and everything. But I'll just briefly tell you what um, the reasoning behind. So when the dies come, because they are cut out like this, it's too expensive to make them, you know, like this. And then make another hole. Let's see if I can take this off. It's such strong glue. To make another hole like this and then make them design. So it's cheaper to just put this in the center and then attach the little small heart with it like that so then this will line up perfectly so I just hope you understand that so that's what she explained in her video so uh, I said that because if you want to make this treat box and punch a hole through it it has this little tiny piece that you can do that and then you can string some pipe cleaner through it or um, if you want to like make a little handle going this direction it's all up to you but um, I just thought I would mention this little tiny heart that you can use to do that so that's why I want to explain that really quick but um, this will be a solid piece if you want or like I said you can make it a hole with that little tiny heart okay so I'm going to move on the bow is a small and uh, I want to say either a medium or large. It may be considered a large because the seller doesn't have any other sizes. But um, this is the large and this is the small. I used the small on the box and that's how it looks. Um, I think she had some kind of video showing how she does the two-tone. So I did that for these boxes. I think they look really cute like that. So um, I can do the tutorial if you like um, showing that, how they're made. Just let me know and I'll do the video. Okay, so I'm going to move on to share with you my next projects. And also I made some cuts for this next one. Um, these are the arrows. Um, I made one that was uh, two-tone so you can see how it looks if you want to make it two-tone. It has like sort of a shape of a heart at the ends, but these are how they cut out. Um, they're just like a small and a medium and a large. So it comes in a set of three and that's how it looks. Okay. And then um, next I want to share... Uh, some stamps. Um, there's also a Happy Mail die and she also has some treat bag um, toppers. They look like this and it folds over the you know this direction instead of top and bottom. So it folds over from left to right and there's some stamps. Um, I also cut out this on the back and it says the best friends are crafters like you so you'll see that in a moment when I share the stamp sets I put that on the back of my treat box so um, with the treat box toppers you get some little die cuts like this that come out of the hearts so I thought that was really nice you can save those for future projects or um, the current project that you have and then she has this die right here that I just shared with you. I shared with you the small one. And I'm going to share with you the large one and how it cuts out. And then also the sentiments of the stamps. Okay, so 
This is how the treat bag topper looks, as well as the Happy Mail. There's a shadow, or you can use it as a standalone word. It's up to you. And then here's the large cutouts, and then the sentiments uh, for Amazing Crafter and goodies inside. So I stamped those out, and I just packaged them up like that. Okay, and now I'm going to share with you the sentiments of the stamps from um, these two stamp sets. So the goodies inside comes from this stamp set. It says Happy Mail, and so these um, stamps coordinate with all the sentiments. So you can just like say Happy Mail to cheer you up, Happy Mail because I care, Happy Mail because you're worth it, Happy Mail because you're loved, Happy Mail for you, my great friend, Happy Mail handmade with love. Or you can just say Happy Mail, Happy Mail, and these are different fonts. So there's that one. And then this one that I just used for an amazing crafter, that's this one underneath this stamp set. Um, it says make handmade, um, give handmade, buy handmade, live handmade, and there's a little heart right there. And then there's um, a little gift that you can stamp out. Um, the beauty of handmade lies in the imperfection. Anything perfect is machine made. So there's that sentiment. And then it says, I love sending you happy mail and big letters. And then open with care and then surprise. And then there's these little um, images. Okay. So those are those two stamp sets that I, you know, pulled from to stamp on that one. But there's so many more that you can do. And then again, there's, this is what I use to layer. Okay. So I'm going to move on to my card. And this is how the card looks. And I stamped out, keep crafting because you're amazing. And I used uh, this doily from this one. I used the um, second to small, or maybe it's a small because this is a shaker. So you can make this into a shaker. These little hearts are considered, you know, for what you could put inside the little uh, doily. Um, and then you get all these little small hearts that can also go into the shaker. So you can either use it as I did or make it into a shaker. It's up to you. And then the bottom piece is this banner. And that's what I use to put underneath it. So that's really pretty. So again, here's my card. I just put some little flowers on the side and that's how it looks. Okay, and then where I got this Keep Crafting Because You're Amazing is this stamp set. And I'll read you the sentiments. Um, this one underneath says, Thank you for your friendship. And I just read you that sentiment. And then I already told you about this one. This is where this one came from. Um, the best friends are crafters like you. And this one says, Handmade with love, buy. And then you can put your name. Um, and then this, this one says, handmade with love and you on my mind, create with joy, send to you with love and thank you for your friendship. And then these little um, images you can stamp at the top and bottom, you know, on all these sentiments to make it more fancy, if you like. So there's that. And then um, this one. I just cut it out. Um, I've seen people use these as treat bag toppers or place um, setting holders, you know, or, you know, you can put their names on them or something. It's, it's all up to you. And then, of course, you get these little hearts that come out that you can save for future projects or, you know, whatever. And then these also have little hearts that come out of this part right here. Okay. So that's all I wanted to share. I will again link um, Nicole's information in the description box below if you want to visit her channel. Uh, let her know I sent you. Um, if you want to see more of her um, upcoming dies coming out or ideas. So um, thank you for stopping by. I will link all the products that I used in this video in the description box below if you want to pick some up and make some projects like I did. Um, let me know what you think. So, uh, take care and I hope you have a fabulous day.